the Texas Attorney General is once again trying to shut down the Annunciation House, one of El Paso's largest migrant advocacy groups. Ken Paxton claims the nonprofit shelter engages in human smuggling and operates as a stash house. CBS 4 at 10's Jennifer Cuevas is live in downtown El Paso to let you know why the AG wants to put the Annunciation House out of business. Today, the Texas AG filed a temporary injunction against the Annunciation House. Now, the reason for this is due to the claims of the center breaking the law multiple times. And this makes it the second time this year that the state wants to shut down the Annunciation House. Here is a look at the temporary injunction that was filed by the Office of Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton against the Annunciation House a local organization that works with migrants, immigrants, and refugees in El Paso. The state says it seeks to cancel the registration of the Annunciation House due to it not turning over requested documents to understand its operations and having violated the law by facilitating human smuggling. In a statement, A.G. Paxton said, quote, any NGO facilitating the unlawful entry of illegal aliens into Texas is undermining the rule of law and potentially jeopardizing the safety and well-being of our citizens. Back in February, Ruben Garcia, the founder of the Annunciation House, held a news conference with local and state officials after the documents were requested. What this is about is human beings who have arrived, who are now in front of us, that are in our community, and the question arises, how do we respond to these human beings? Today, Jerome Wesovich, the lawyer representing Annunciation House, released the following statement that reads in part, While the Attorney General drums up attention to his false claims, Annunciation House continues to serve refugees as the law allows and as the gospel commands. Meantime, El Paso Congresswoman Veronica Escobar took to social media in support of the Annunciation House. Without Annunciation House, the humanitarian crisis at our border would be far worse, and that's exactly what Republicans want. Now, I contacted Garcia to find out how the temporary injunction will move forward. At this time, it is unclear, but we will be sure to keep you posted both on air and online. I'm live in downtown El Paso, Jennifer Cuevas, CBS 4 at 10.